rounding out my trifecta of knife reviews that Knife and Everyday Carry Super Genius, Journey One Junk, has loaned me, brings me to a knife that didn't survive a social media field test. So it probably won't make him mad where I put it through my brand new social media test standard, throwing it off the roof at asphalt. I feel real confident here that if this knife survives this, I wouldn't hesitate to rely on it in a tactical survival real world jungle situation. See how it does. All right, let's go check it out. The Condor Tool and Knife Swamp Romper, presumably made to sell some knives to fans of the dumbass show on the channel that has nothing to do with history, the History Channel, they're like, hey, I watched that show. Yeah, well, I still watch The Walking Dead. What of it? But let's do the dimensions while you wonder how we got on this topic, like the overall length and weight. It's a low idea week here at the channel, otherwise known as infrastructure week. Blade size and cutting edge. A good old non sequitur is my go-to when the writing team is on strike. Handle size, grip area. I really shouldn't have let him unionize. I think that was my mistake. Spine thickness, handle thickness. But they knew how much I was making and wanted a piece. Tallness. I'm the creative one here. They're just the dumb workers who write all day. I'm the one with the money. All right, so what we did here was a simulation of a knife hitting the asphalt. I mean, I, well, I mean, it was, I guess it wasn't a simulation, but got a little bit of an edge ding here. Nothing the sharp maker can't work out. So I think what we got here's a real survival knife. How about that. Um, clear my head. Okay. The Swamp Romper is a, mm, I don't know, Swamp Craft Knife from the Swamp Experts Condor Tool and Swamp Knife. It has a drop point blade made from 1075 high carbon steel. Like that's a question. So if you're in the swamp and you want to keep it stain free, don't let moisture sit on the blade. The grind. Let me describe it to the best of my knowledge, as a few people roll their eyes. This appears to have a similar grind as my bush lore. I had a few people on my bush lore review tell me it was a Scandinavian grind and not a flat grind, like, you know, a few product descriptions on the internet call it a flat. Some people on forums call it a Scandinavian, some call it a hybrid, I've even seen convex. And some just call it a goddamn knife. This knife and the bush lore have micro bevels, and on my true Scandinavian ground knives like my Spyderco Puko and my Moras, they don't have that edge bevel. This one seems to be a hybrid. It has an edge bevel, but it also looks like the secondary has a slight convex bend if the light hits it right. But it could be flat. To the best of my ability to describe a knife, the one thing I'm almost 50% certain on is that it's not a true Scandinavian grind. The blade shape on my bush lower is more of a spear point, and it has a longer belly, and the swamp romper has a more dramatic upsweep as it approaches the tip. It's okay, you can say it. But if you really want to know some answers, why not just ask this helpful guy who posted on my Higonokami review? The handle. The handle is made from walnut. Not the nut, the tree. Wow, this guy knows his stuff. It has a similar construction to the bush lore. Wood scales over a full tang. The swamp romper has hollow rivets only though, which is really handy for determining geo coordinates when lost in the wilderness. Please note, the Advanced Knife Bro channel is not responsible for bear attacks, death by exposure, or general outdoor ineptitude. The handle on the Swamp Romper has a more pronounced key on, finger groove, hilt, or whatever the particular knife anatomy chart calls it that you're looking at on the internet. I actually like this more than the less pronounced on my bush lore. I have noticed that more seasoned bushcraft artists seem to like less of a finger guard or key on. Seems less tactical and not good for stabbing, but that's none of my business. The handle is large and can accommodate larger than mine. I have no idea what the upper limit on hand size is. Maybe maybe not shack size dudes. Do you think shack bushcrafts? The handle scales, as you may have seen, well, this one cracked from some light chopping. 
Sometimes the danger of a wood handle is that if you have to use a knife outside of its design purpose, like I often do, well, shit happens. Looks like there was some horse glue under it too. Cool. Also, if you baton and sometimes have to hit above the handle, wood tends to be more prone to deformation than, say, micarta. Maybe just don't chop or baton with a knife. I know, I know, that doesn't sound like good advice. The sheath. This is more of a drop sheath or the dangly type, as real knife bros say. I like these sheaths better because they ride lower on the waist, and they dangle. The leather is riveted and welted together, and by the looks of it, should outlast the handle. It also has a handy cigarette holder, in case you're out and need to come to the forest fresh taste of a palm oil menthol. If you're listening, RJ, I'll do anything for a sponsorship. Anything. Comparisons. First, the Swamp Romper. Believe it or not, I like this handle and blade style a bit better than the Bush Lore. You're like, I believe it. You don't know anything about knives. However, it does show that wood handles can split if you beat up on your knives. So be cautious when doing anything other than feather sticking. Now a verb. How about the Bush Lore? The Bush Lore has a very comfortable handle, and maybe the idea is not to encourage whacking it, but treating wood and outdoors with the respect it deserves. The blades on both knives look to be about the same size-ish. Which blade shape do you prefer? The Swamp Romper has that more traditional knife look, whatever that means. How about the SC3? The PR4 is on loan to Journey 1 Junk right now, so I can't use that one. The 3 is smaller and has micarta scales. I think at this juncture in my life, micarta has the best hand feel for me. G10 may be second if it's done right and lightly textured. This review will be coming in a few weeks, so stay tuned for another video of an old knife that it has at least a million clicks by true YouTube survivalists and outdoorsmen. I don't have the SE6 anymore because I traded it for the 3. So how about the Mora Companion? A true Scandinavian grind. There is no edge bevel, micro bevel. Oh, you know what? Oh wait, there is a micro bevel. Okay, never mind. Maybe I don't have a knife with a true Scandinavian grind. I don't know, maybe my Spyderco Puko was before I hit it with a sharp maker. I mean, I didn't smack it with a sharp maker. I just, you know, sharpened it. All I know is I don't know nothing. So we're done here, right? Okay, no, we're not. Journey One Junk said, and I quote, I don't want you to send it back to me, so it's open season on the condors. And I'd just like to clarify for the nice game and fish agents watching, he means the knife and not the endangered birds. Oh, and he also said, do your worst. So let's let this play out for a few minutes while I beat it.
What is your favorite bushcraft or swampcraft knife? Who is your favorite bushcraft video artist on YouTube? What survival skills have you learned? Who sponsors their channel? What is a knife? What is a grind? I don't know the answer to anything, and if you knew what was good for you, you would have never asked yourself those questions either. If you like this review, and knives and beer and stuff, maybe flashlights again, although sitting in my basement in the dark with the zebra light trying to get it to display all 12 modes without accidentally exiting programming sounds fucking horrible. Also, doing calculations on a pad of paper while watching a light dim also sounds like torture too. So yeah, subscribe, baton that like button, go smoke a cool palm all. Bushcraft, follow Journeywind Junk on Instagram and his blog, and on Blade Reviews, where he posts reviews too. I'll link that shit down below for some reason if your Google is broken. Some people say, hey man, how do I find your Instagram? I don't know, search for Advanced Knife Bro. Instagram, and it comes up. Thanks for watching.